this video is about the value of a for that we have limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 over n power n is equal to e how this became number e and what is the value of e now let's take first of all 1 plus 1 over n power n is equal to use binomial theorem uh, to prove this formula we have to know two basic concept the first one is the general term of binomial distribution that is p plus q power n is equal to n c r p n minus r and dot q r and the another basic concept which we have to know points to remember is that n c r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial these two r are same okay we use the binomial general term here we have one is as a p in q is as one over m now what is the first term for the first term the value of r is zero that's why n c zero p means one n minus r n minus r is zero here and q q power r that means q is here one over n so one over n power r is zero the first term is done and the second term is n c the value of r is one for the second term n c r p power n minus r means one power n minus one dot q power r is one over n power uh, one over n power one the second term is also done and the third term is n c r the value of r for the third term is two uh, one power n minus two into 1 over n power uh, 2 and the fourth term is plus n c 3 1 power n minus 3 dot 1 over n power 3 plus we can write we can do so on dot 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 the second step is equal to we use the formula ncr here for nc0 for nc1 for nc2 and for nc3 and so on so nc0 means n factorial over n minus r means r is 0 here n minus 0 factorial and again r factorial is 0 factorial dot 1 power n minus 0 is 1 dot 1 over n power 0 is also 1 plus and n c1 is n factorial over n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial in 1 factorial dot 1 power something is always 1 dot 1 over n power 1 is 1 over n plus again we use here the combination formula n factorial over n minus 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial and 2 factorial again dot 1 power something is 1 dot 1 over n square plus for this another term we use here the same formula n factorial n minus 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial and 3 factorial dot 1 dot 1 over n cube and so on is equal to n factorial over when we see here in denominator n minus 0 factorial is n factorial and 0 factorial means 1 that's why n factorial over n factorial plus n factorial now you, we can see here in the second term we have n factorial in numerator and n minus 1 factorial in denominator so 
expand this n factorial up to n minus 1 that is n n minus 1 factorial to make the cancel out from nu no n d no n minus 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 so we can cancel out these two uh, term here dot 1 over n this n and this n is also cancelled plus and here in third term we expand this n factorial up to n minus 2 factorial so we have n minus 2 factorial in denominator n minus 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial and this n minus 2 factorial are cancelled out here and 2 factorial we can write here 2 factorial dot 1 over n square is also here so this square and n is cancelled out we are left n here in denominator similarly in the next term we can do here up to n minus 3 terms n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 factorial and divided by n minus 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial and 3 factorial dot dot 1 over n cube plus dot 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 so we can see here this n factorial and n factorial are cancelled out thus we can write here 1 plus in in the second term uh, we can also write 1 plus any third term you can see here in third term we can write here the remaining part are n minus 1 over 2 factorial n minus 1 over 2 factorial dot 1 over n dot 1 over n plus in another term we can see here the n minus 3 factorial and n minus 3 factorial are cancelled n and this q is cancelled here and we are left here too so we can write here n minus 1 times n minus 2 over um, 3 factorial dot 1 over n e square if we had the another term here then we can write here n minus 1 similarly n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 over over 4 factorial dot 1 over n cube on the same way we can do so on is equal to 1 plus 1 plus we are just expanding in binomial uh, distribution binomial uh, by the law of binomial theorem we are expanding the general terms of uh, n plus 1 over n power n now let make separate 1 over 2 factorial over here and distribute this n here that is n over n minus 1 over n plus and similarly we can do here 1 over 3 factorial uh, and the product of n minus 1 and n minus 2 is n square minus mm -hmm, n square minus 3n 3n plus uh, 2 over n square now distribute this n square n square is here n square is here and n square is here plus again the product of n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 is the product of n square minus 3n plus 2 with n minus 3 now first let's separate this one over 4 factorial n cube over n cube i am doing two facts at the same time one is the um, one is um, uh, writing the uh, product of these three terms uh, and uh, separating these all by n cube uh, minus 6 n is square minus 6 n is square plus plus i think i can write here plus here no no minus 11 n uh, plus 6 over n cube n cube okay plus dot 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 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 over now multiply 1 over 2 factorial 2 into uh, um, inside this small bracket that is 1 over 2 factorial this one and this one cancel so 1 left here 1 and 1 over 2 factorial is 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 2 factorial into 1 over n plus the same thing we do here that is n square and n square cancel 1 over 3 factorial 
minus 1 over 3 factorial uh, 1 over 3 factorial and 3 n if we take minus common from here 3 n minus 2 3 n minus 2 over n square we can write here mm, 3 n minus 2 over n square and this n key when n, n key are cancelled so uh, we are left here 1 and multiply 1 by 1 over 4 factorial is 1 over 4 factorial minus 1 over 4 factorial 6 n square minus 11 n plus 6 over n cube n cube uh, plus dot 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 now separate this all number part 8 uh, a place and n parts in another terms okay that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus this one this one this one this one and this one are kept in a same place 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial plus dot 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 this is the one part i kept the all number in a one place plus and similarly uh, minus 1 over 2 factorial uh, 1 over n here is the multiply sign here minus 3 n minus 2 over uh, 3 factorial n minus 6 n square minus 11 n plus 6 over n cube 1 over 4 factorial okay and plus dot 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 now applying limit applying limit on both side both side means we have here 1 plus 1 over n power n that is 1 plus 1 over n power n we have here now applying limit limit n tends to infinity is equal to uh, the uh, rule of limit n tends to infinity do not affect uh, up to this term because we don't have n here in this in the in this pattern so we can write this all number in separate form 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial plus dot 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 and now you can see here when we apply when we apply mm, uh, n tends to infinity in this term then we will have something over uh, 0 then we will have something over 0 that means 1 over infinity and uh, 3 n minus 2 over infinity or 3 infinity minus 2 over infinity so uh, these all things goes 0 because something over infinity gives us 0 value so the something is number or something uh, variable so last remaining part is here limit uh, limit limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 over n power n is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial plus dot 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 now other parts are 0 we don't we do not need to write the 0 part here uh, when we add this all number 1 and 1 is 2 plus now we can see here the left number part are in decreasing form 1 over 2 factorial the value of 1 over 2 factorial is less mm, greater than the value of 1 over 3 factorial which is greater than the 1 over 4 factorial okay so uh, what is the sum of this left part we can guess it is not um, exactly one but less than one uh, when we add up to infinity then the sum will be the 0 0.71828182 uh, 4 5 9 0 1 8 something like that on dot 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 so the final value uh, is 2.71828 point dot 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 uh, so many numbers are in decimal places um, for this value so a great mathematician who gave the name for this sum is number e to denote this uh, sum is number e which is limit limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 over n power n we can see here the value of n is lies between 2 and 3 not exactly 2 so 
e is strictly greater than 2 and e is strictly less than 3. So, this is the case uh, which we proved here. This is the value of e, value of e and what is the number of e. Thank you.